What's up guys, main man Sui here, hope you're all doing awesome as always, welcome to another video by me. Today I'm talking about one of the most iconic legacy characters in Tekken, it's the Lord of Swag, the Lord of Drip, Lee Shaolan. And uh, yeah, by god, does he have some of the coolest moves in the game, like by far in my opinion. But an interesting thing about him is that I feel like over the last few years, uh, during the lifespan of Tekken 7, he's been so underrated by like everyone. I also underrated him a lot, but lately I've just come to realize, like analyzing him, that he's probably top 10. And I know that sounds crazy because most people don't talk about him that way. I know Arson Ash does. He's one of a few that's like, no, he's one of the best in the game. Uh, and I'm going to try and describe in this video what makes him so insanely strong. But again, make no mistake, he's one of the most difficult characters to use in the game. He has a lot of very, very tough transitions, like down free counter hit, uh, down to uh, back to loops. Uh, this 10 frame punish, super hard to do. I can do it because I'm a goud. Uh, just lucky I got it on the first attempt there. YouTube curse is gone, finally! That tormented me. Um, but so, uh, yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, give me some time. I'm going to show you how strong and all around he is. But again, there's a lot of work that goes into it. A lot of blood, sweat and tears, but if you put all of that time in, holy shit, is he good. So, let's just start with the keep out. When we st talk like strong keep out in Tekken 7, it's usually about Lee, Paul, Brian, Akuma, Mishima's... A couple of other characters, but Lee, in my opinion, takes this to the next level. Back 4 was already very good, but then for Season 4, I think it was, it got buffed. It got uh, faster recovery, so on whiff. Uh, this is almost impossible to whiff punish. It's, it's just so insane. So in terms of keep out, he falls back, back 4, back 4. This clips you on normal hit, it's plus 8, 20 damage. If it counter it... I was gonna say kaboom, but I dropped the combo. YouTube curse is back, everyone. It's not too hard. 74 damage. That is actually insane damage. And if he gets a wall, he has among the best wall combo damage in the game. He does down for one, forward for free into guaranteed down free for a total of 23 damage and then into Oki. And he's got some pretty insane wall pressure, this guy. Uh, so yes, uh, this move is insane. His combo damage is insane. Uh, oh God, God, and back four, again, I could make a video on back four alone. If he goes into Hitman, he, he goes back a little bit and it's even harder to whiff punish. From Hitman, of course, he can mi mi turn back four into a string, right? So you can do a high, safe on block power crush that gives insane damage and Oki. Okay. He can do another mid, so back four into Hitman two. He can do back four into sidesteps into Hitman two, or to be honest, whatever he feels like on that particular occasion. Back four is arguably busted. Uh, again, the, the lightning fast recovery on whiff. So more keep out. He has a generic down for two, but minus seven on block. Uh, and launches on normal hit. Uh, more range, sh shadow range, more range than it looks like. And I, again, will absorb hit. So this, this, you should see this as a, as a counter it tool, just like you do with Paul. So that's insane. And now for more keep out, is magic four so magic fours are crazy like the the strong magic fours and now you think of like well Ka kazumi a few other law uh, lee 11 frame counter hit launchers so again that's why we call them magic right because it's an 11 frame counter hit launcher and lee gets really good damage from his magic four that's 62 damage from an 11 frame counter at launcher, and again, at a wall, it really hurts. And safe on block. Uh, oh god, at minus 9. Sorry, I haven't got the dummy to block. Uh, let's perhaps do that. Minus 9. This, this, what I just showed you here is like, oh my god, that's good. But now, turns out, his magic 4, <laughs> he can machine gun kick here. Ha ha ha! 
this completely changes this attack. And why is this? Because you you might be inclined, but most of the time when you want to counter, you, you know like he's gonna magic four now. Uh, you want to duck and whiff punish uh, while standing punish, right? Or you want to sidestep into a punish. Uh, and the thing here with his magic four is that when he does this and you try to while standing punish, he counter it you. And another thing about this is that these additional kicks actually track to both sides. Yes. <laughs> These kicks track to both sides. So immediately his magic, and, and again, on, on block, minus five. So the first one is minus nine, but when he adds kicks, minus five, minus five. This is a bit too strong. Uh, so again, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. I've set Kazuya to, to try, at least try to step here. Right. And I can just do this combo. So I'm not going to spend too much time uh, discussing this particular move. But, uh, okay, stop. Uh, his magic four is the best in the game. And again, in a game with very strong magic fours, uh, this move alone is insane. Uh, so that's about it for the keep out. Uh, th those are the craziest tools. And now I want to talk about his, his counter hit stuff. Uh, among the best in the game. So, 2-2. Uh, this is a 10 frame counter hit string. That is hit confirmable. You hit confirm, counter it. And you add all of this for 50 damage and wall splat. Okay. The initial hits here are minus 13. So they are punishable, but people are so afraid of the last hit that usually they won't attempt to punish. So you throw 2-2, two, two, visually confirm. Oh! You know, that was a counter hit and you add the last hit. So he's got a 10 frame uh, counter string, uh, but it's very, very strong. We mentioned back four. We mentioned uh, standing four for counter hits. And now we have down three. Down free is one of the most evasive attacks. Uh, it will evade a lot of mids. Seriously, I think it goes under like most mids and obviously all highs. It's uh, 16 frames fast, very fast, has got decent range. It is launch punishable at minus 15, but thank God it is due to the evasiveness, the speed. And this is a, a counter it launcher. Okay, okay please. Okay, that's not a combo, but, but you, you get the idea. That's very hard to do, by the way, so you gotta practice. But still, this is a super good counter hit. Uh, and then we have forward four free. Uh, you do forward four, 11 frame. You can add a second hit, and it's basically a back four counter hit launch. Um, his one plus two is absolutely crazy. This is a lo pretty fast, long range mid homing. Right? That's minus four on block. If I go into Hitman, it's hit, hit fan. You can go into Hitman. It's only minus one. So it's basically neutral, right? Uh, and this counter it launches. Okay. Trust me, it counter it launches. Okay, sorry, I haven't played Lee in a while. That's gonna be my excuse. But I guess you could go easy mode. <laughs> so embarrassing. All right, okay, but I'm so sorry about that. Time waste. This is what you're supposed to do. You always obviously go into Hitman because you want it to be minus one. If you don't go into Hitman, it's minus four. So you're always going into Hitman pretty much where you can do all kinds of nasty things. And that will easily allow you to just back free free pick up there. Uh, so th this this move is very underrated. It's not talked about a lot, but it's an insane counter it tool. Uh, and then you have down two, um, minus six on block, long range, evades highs. Very very strong. Uh, I mean, Ford Ford Four could be mentioned among counter it tools. Um, you know, it's a launcher on natural hit. 
minus five on block. But the reason I mentioned this as a counter it tool is because it goes down super low when he does it, beats highs and a lot of mids. And, th and this is basically also one of the reason reasons why he completely destroys Kazuya for many reasons. Magic four destroys 90% of Kazuya's move list. 444 beats electrics. Uh, this move is, it's also one of the moves that are almost too good to be true. Minus five, super evasive, launches on normal hit. So absolutely crazy attack. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I have to mention more counter hits. I think we've gone through all of the nastiest stuff. And now punishment. He has some of the best punishment in the game. I showed you acid rain before. You see their total damage, that's a 44 damage, 10 frame. So that's job, 10 frame uh, punish. Again, it's very hard to do, but when, when you play against 10 out of 10 Lees who can do that, it's too good. It's just too good. Anytime you're unsafe, any attack, 44 damage. Uh, okay. That's also uh, something you can do. And suddenly, if they can do that, it's 47 damage into Oki. But the Blazing Kick makes it even harder, and it's already a very hard punish. Um, but yeah, but the punishment is pretty insane. And as soon as you're launch punishable, Acid Storm is a very long range uh, 15 frame punisher. And also a super good whiff punish. If you whiff an attack, he can acid storm you from very far away. Okay, now it whiffed. But so the, the whiff punish definitely is there as well. For 13 frame, you can afford one plus two. I mean, you, you, you always want to do this one, right? But uh, 13 frame, you have long range, forward 1 plus 2. 14 frame, 4 2 1 is a very strong punisher. Um, you can hop kick for 15 frame, but again, Acid Storm has the range. Uh, while standing punish, uh, for 10 frame, you can do uh, infinite kicks, right? A mix up. Uh, while standing 4, 11. This is 13, while standing 1-4, can go into hit mount. Uh, 14 frame, you'll do this one. And of course, if you have rage, this turns into almost a death combo. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's like his, his, his punishment is really, really good. Uh, so he has that as well. Uh, and then in terms of 50-50, you have a slide that tracks uh, quite decently to both sides and has insane reach. Just insane reach. And guarantees that low kick. What's the total on that? 30 damage. And this can be mixed up with uh, while standing 2 3 from full crouch, right? Or while standing 2 4 which is safe on block at minus four. But again, they can duck uh, the high, but that's that's why you mix it with while standing two free. I mean, if you want to take uh, more risk, you'll just do uh, mix with up for four. Uh, but so the character has a 50-50 as well, but it's super effective. And, and if you skip the, the guaranteed low kick here, after the slide, you can just get up here and force another mix-up, right? It's a very good position for Lee. Very good position. Uh, so we have a 50-50. Uh, and poking, again, it's just interesting uh, how many great options he has. Uh, let's see if I can find the button. We'll do a sequence like that. Did you see that? His Lee's down for one. You see how much he ducks down when he does it. It beats jabs most of the time. So again, 
His down fold one will go under jabs most of the time. It's hard to describe how strong that is to have a down fold one with a type of evasiveness that will beat jabs. Like jabs are arguably the most important tool you have in this game. The most important universal tool that grants you plus eight on normal hit and plus eight on block to, to initiate pressure. Okay. Uh, so there's a little bit of a specific timing to it. Oh. Mm -hmm. But you see? Yeah, this is uh, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, having the ability to do that. I wonder what happens if he just does jab into jab, which which is what I would do with Kazuya. Okay, you gotta wait a little bit. Okay, uh, so I just hope you understand that being able to, if someone just try, is trying to jab check you, which is going to happen a lot in high level, and you can just beat it by doing down for the one, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, so that's great. I mean, magic four can al almost be seen as a poke. Uh, forward four, forward four three. And again, it has low risk lows that are highly effective. This is minus 12, plus two. That's a good low. And then this one is particularly strong in my opinion. So it's a bit reactable at, at 24 frames, uh, but plus four on hit, 17 damage. Knocks down for a guaranteed blazing kick for 40 damage. Um, and again, downford four, uh, downford four is very strong as well. Can go into Hitman. Plus two Hitman. Um, so I think that's everything I'm going to show about Lee today. Uh, and I hope you get you get the. Oh, oh got it. I didn't even mention Ford Ford three. The animation is 14 frames. So with the Ford Ford free input, it's what, like 16 frames? Uh, good damage, knockdown, almost infinite range. Very hard to sidestep. Very hard to sidestep. Uh, and safe. With pushback. Uh, this move is insane. Oh, and lo uh, power crush that wall bounces. Minus 15, but hard to punish most of the time due to the pushback. A lot of characters can't launch, launch it at the wall if you space it properly. Uh, and again, many other like mix-ups and shenanigans. Uh, yeah, okay. So, best keep out in the game, uh, in my opinion. Some of the best counter hits in the game. Uh, magic for alone and back four and down three. Batch it crazy. Uh, Ford Ford four is almost busted, in my opinion. Uh, his punishment. Again, some of the best in the game. Like, literally. Some of the best in the game. Uh, it's strong 50 50. Strong 50 50. Uh, poking. Very strong. You saw that down for one. Um, and the damage, again, ha strong damage, strong wall travel, 
great uh, wall combo, great wall uh, pressure. Yeah, th this character is super good. Uh, yeah, wouldn't be surprised if he is top 10. I, I would say he is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Even though I had a, a few oopsies during <laughs> the video where I dropped stuff. Uh, I hope it had a, ni a decent flow and that you, you get what I'm saying on, on the character. And uh, if you're inclined to pick him up yourself and play him. So much fun. So rewarding. Uh, again, the skill ceiling is so high on the character. He's so technical. But man, when you master him and things are going well, it feels so good playing him. And he's so cool. Uh, so thank you for listening to me today and uh, have a lovely day. Take care.